Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lainey. Thank you so much for stopping by. In today's video, we're going to be doing an update to the roulette pan clip. So if you're interested in seeing the progress I've made over the last month, then just keep on watching. Before we get into that though, if you're new here, please remember to hit that subscribe button so you never miss another video from me. All right, you guys. So we've got our second update to the roulette pan collab. And um, this was a project created by Rebecca Morgan and Alexi here on YouTube. I will link their channels down below as well as all of the information you need to know about this project, the prompts, how long it's going for, everything you need to know will be down below in the description box. Um, and let's hop in to my updates. So first up we have my NYX Glitter Glue. Um, I had six uses left to go to meet my goal and I did just that and I've used it multiple times after I met that goal. Um, this was for bad a product with bad functioning packaging. Now I picked this not because this specific one has bad functioning packaging, but in the past my two other ones have uh, had really bad packaging. The first one it would squeeze out of the side, but I was able to still use it. Um, I just lost a lot of product. And then the second one, the cap, it, it did that, but then it also the cap, like the white part where our product dispenses out of, completely broke off. So I had to throw it out after only having it for a few months. So I rebought it and so far so f so <laughs> so far so good with this one. I have heard mixed things. Sometimes you get the bad uh sometimes you get the bad packaging, sometimes you don't. I've heard mixed complaints about this one. So um so far so good with this, but I was able to meet my goal, so I'm glad to kind of incorporate this into my routine a lot more now. I believe I had an original goal of 15 uses. Next, also from the first update, I had a product that makes you feel confident and I picked red lipstick and I ambitiously chose 15 uses for this as well. It's not going well. I only used it once in the last month, which means I still have 12 more uses until I hit pan or hit my goal, not pan. Um, but hopefully with us going into December, I will be wearing this a lot more. This is the shade Trust Me from ColourPop. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful blue toned red. A really, really great red shade. Um, and I just need to use it more. Again, I have trouble because I tend to go bold on the eyes. Um, that I don't always reach for this. But yeah, I'm gonna try to use this um, at least five times in December just to make more progress on it. Probably gonna take me the entire project to meet the 15 use goal, but that's okay. And next we have a product from Phytosurgeons and this was for a warm tone item. So I chose my cream shadow in the shade Amber Aura. It's a beautiful ambery shade, as the name suggests. I've been using this a lot on its own, as well as under shadows. Uh, any eyeshadow I put in projects right now is kind of tricky because I am trying to use all my palettes once by the end of the year. So far, so good. I think I have 13 days left where I can do whatever I want and not use a palette. Um, so yeah, I've been reaching for this um, as a base a lot for when I'm doing warm tone looks and it's been going well for that. I set a 15 use goal with this. By the last update, I needed to use it nine more times and I have used it three times, which means I have six more uses to go to finish this up for the project goal. So six more times for this. Um, I don't know that I'll have it done by the next update, but definitely by the finale. Um, I'm just enjoying using this. It's a really versatile product and I'm really glad that I've started to use more cream shadows into my routine. So next I had the prompt something brown and I picked a shade from my Lunar Beauty Moonspell palette. It was actually kind of like a eyeshadow graveyard kind of item because I had worked on this in my pan the shadows and I never hit pan on it. Um, so I rolled in the shade Kiki for something brown and as you can see we have hit pan which means I now have four shades. I have Kiki, which one is this? Samantha, Phoebe, and Sabrina. So uh, this palette is definitely getting its wear and tear, which makes me really, really happy. And I'm really glad that I was able to hit pan on this. And this took seven uses to hit pan. So took a little bit of time, but I was able to manage. So that was super exciting. Next, I had another Phytosurgeons product. Last month, I got the prompt, uh, something you can only get in your country. And that was pretty difficult because I live in the U.S. Um, a lot of the U.S. brands I buy from are available internationally. So I tweaked the prompt a little bit and chose something that you can only get in your continent. Um, so I chose Phytosurgeons because currently they only ship to North America. 
and um, they're a Canadian based brand. Currently they only ship to North America so I figured that was my closest bet. So I picked the shade Smolder, their cream blush. Oh my god, I want every shade in this blush formula. It is absolutely beautiful and stunning. It's like a nice moussey texture and this is like a burnt peach shade. It's perfect for fall. I'm wearing it on my cheeks today. I love this blush so much. It is so good. You guys, if you are able to, I definitely recommend trying them out. They are such a great brand. I love following them on Instagram because they put so much behind the scenes of like developing their formulas and things like that on their Instagram. And it's just a really, really fun page to follow. So I would definitely recommend checking them out. Um, and for this one, I also set a goal of 15 uses. And I used it 10 times in the last month. So I only have to use it five more times and I definitely think I will be able to do that Basically, just have to do five more warm tone looks, and this will be goal met. And finally, we've got a shade from my Beauty Bay Wilderness palette. I got the prompt something you bought online, which is the large majority of my collection. So I picked, at the time, one of my more recent purchases, and I chose the shade Lime, which is this one right here. There's a bit of a dip forming. And I use this two times and my goal is pan. So hopefully if I use it a handful more times in the next month, um, I'll be able to hit pan. I, with the Beauty Bay Book of Magic palette, I've been able to hit pan pretty fast. So hopefully I can get this done by the next update. All right, so I have two prompts rolling out, which means I can roll two more products into this project. Let me pull up my spreadsheet. Now, you've probably heard this spiel before, but Everyone kind of does this differently. There was originally a list of 50 prompts and then a list of 100 prompts. Uh, some people are working on a variety of them. I've combined the two. I've also done this project twice before. So when I finish a prompt, I remove it from the spreadsheet. So my numbers will not be the same as yours. All right, so I have removed the prompts that I rolled in last month. So let's randomize two numbers. We've got prompt number one and we've got prompt number 50 and this was out of a list of 119 prompts so number one is a product in the category you are best at panning and then number 50 is a product in your collection that doesn't get enough love so that one I'll have to think about for a product I'm the best at panning I would definitely say I'm pretty darn good at panning lip glosses so that's probably what I'm gonna pick so let me take a second to think about what I want to pan and we will, or I'll be right back. So first I got prompt number one, which for me is a product you are best at panning at. And I decided to go with lip gloss. I think I'm pretty good at panning lip glosses. And so this one I originally had earmarked for 2022, but we'll roll this in now. This is the Lunar Beauty uh, lip gloss in the shade Dreamy, which I actually put on today. And there's actually a lot of windowing. Um, which is why I earmarked it because um, I noticed I'm kind of, I believe I'm like right where the white uh, packaging starts to go into clear. So I'm going to let this sit up just so I can officially mark it. But um, I don't know if I'll have this done by the finale, but I love wearing this lip gloss. It feels like water on your lips. It smells like caramel. It is such a good gloss. I love the Lunar Beauty glosses. And so since I did have this earmark for panning in the near future i thought let's pull this in now um and my goal will be to finish it and then for prompt number 50 for me was a uh, item in your collection that doesn't get enough love i decided to go with an eyeliner this is the lethal cosmetics gel liner in ectoplasm this was from the teresa is dead collaboration and this is what it looks like i've only used this a handful of times oops I was really disappointed in this eyeliner because I've heard such great things about the Lethal Cosmetics gel liner formula, um, but it just did not work out for me. I prefer to wear liner on my, like as a wing as well as in my waterline, and this just emphasized texture on my eyelids, made them look really just not good. <laughs> And so I really didn't like it as that. I have used it as like a base before for shimmers. Uh, it also works well in the, uh, the waterline. But um, for me, gel liner, I wanted to be multi-purpose and like be able to do a wing, but also wear it in the waterline. Um, so I was just a little bit disappointed in this product. And so um, I'm going to set a usage goal of 10 uses. I don't want to go all the way to 15, but I figured 10 would be good for a bright green liner. 
Um, and I also want to make sure all of those uses are not just my waterline. I want to use it in other ways as well and find a way to make it work for me. Um, it looks like it's already starting to dry out. Um, it's pulling away from the rim already. So I definitely can mix up, maybe see how this performs with Duraline. Maybe I'll like that as a liner better. We will see. Um, but yeah, I don't want all my uses to be in my waterline. Also, if I use this as a wing or as a base plus my waterline, should that count as one uses or two uses? Let me know down below what you think it should be, if it should count as one or two. I'm not quite sure because I've never really done that for a project before. So let me know what you think down below. All right, so those are the products I am rolling in. So these definitely will not be done by the next month, um, but they will be in here for a few more updates. The cream shadow, I will try to have done by the next update, but I can't say that for sure. The blush should be done by the next update for sure. The Beauty Bay Lime Shade might be done, but it might not be. It just depends how much I use it. And then the red lipstick definitely will not be done, but I'm going to try to use it five times and see if I can get some progress on it so I can actually meet the 15 use goal by the by the finale. Um, but that is all I have for you today. Let me know how your roulette pan collab is going down below. I can't wait to watch everyone's updates. And with that all being said, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you like down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!